Hey guys, my name is Jim and welcome back to My Music Obsession, a place for music obsessives and in this video I'm going to be talking about the EP released by Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds way back on the 21st of April 2012. So I've been working my way through the Noel Gallagher discography and I did the trilogy of EPs he recently done, forgot that I hadn't looked at his 2012 EP, so I decided to go back to it and it was a real joy. It was a real nice experience to go back to Noel Gallagher before the kind of Willy Wonka vortex of experimentation he's jumped into recently. I love it. But it's great to hear Noel Gallagher doing what he does best. This is Noel Gallagher just in his element. Pop rock, classic melody, effortless. It just sounds so natural for the man. So The Good Rebel is the first track on here and I really like this. You know, it's not the best track out of these three. It's probably the weakest, but it does have a real 90s summery freedom kind of Brit rock indie rock vibe it reminds me of that period and it's great to hear Noel go back to that it just sounds summery it just sounds uh, uh, like freeing and happy and uh, liberating it almost sounds like a master plan track I'll go and say it there is this earnest kind of having fun uh, regular person type vibe to it it almost sounds like that band Travis you know the ones who did Flowers in the Window and uh, Driftwood <sighs> I like it. It does run out of steam a bit. I think this song, it does get a bit repetitive, but I do think it is a solid rock track. It's fun, it's pop rock, it's good. Next up is Let the Lord Shine a Light on Me. This is where, again, Noel Gallagher just shifts things into another gear with this sort of track. How is this a B-side is gonna be the, the question we're gonna be asking Noel Gallagher for his whole career. He still hasn't learnt from the master plan. We see interviews for him where he's like, I've learnt from the master plan, I can't keep songs like this as B-sides, and then let the Lord shine on, a light on me. It's just an absolutely stunning song, but what the great thing about it is, it just sounds so effortless, it, almost, it honestly sounds like Noel Gallagher just knocks out these acoustic classics, like push-ups, it just sounds so effortless, it just sounds like it just flows from him, like he just has to get it out. <laughs> This man is an absolute criminal for what he's done to his own work, not releasing it how it should be known. No one's going to have heard this song, Let the Lord Shine Light on Me, and it's stadium filling brilliance. It starts off so haunting and ominous, this track, but then it just goes into this uh, charming, almost I get vibes of Neverland, Peter Pan to this. I get, I see a forest when I'm hearing this. It just sounds like that, mysterious, magical, but also ominous, underlying menace underlying danger mid portion of this song you think it's just going to be one of those acoustic insane numbers of novel just busting out magical melodies but in the mid portion of the song there's this woman vocalist who comes in with this kind of soul delivery and the track just goes into other territories of just uplifting kind of hippie vibes it's a very experimental track as well like it's not going to doing what he does best but it's also experimental I wonder if there is a hint to religious elements in this because of course the lyric let the Lord shine a light on me it's wonderfully delivered it's a fantastic lyric you wonder is Noel Gallagher a man of faith is he calling out to the gods above I do feel like he's a man who's pondered religion I feel like he's done that on many tracks I feel like he's a he's a ponderer he doesn't know which is kind of what I am kind of um, atheistic to established religion but I really don't know I'm open to the idea of a kind of a spiritual uh, being and uh, spiritual uh, realm but not the established religion type realm I feel like Noel Gallagher's kind of in that vibe with me because he's always writing these lyrics of longing of wondering and lastly is I'd pick you every time the most joyous fun sweet romantic little summer breezy song he has ever written this is basically she is love from heathen chemistry if she is love was good and he's just eating the melody for breakfast like it's just insane how he can do so much obviously recently he's shown us that he can go into many genres and just nail it but here he's just sitting there just delivering on a folk pop song 
sweet natured little number of sweet lyrics and just resonating resonating that little romantic spark we all have in all of us it reminds me of those situations where you watch two people falling in love from the outside and it looks really sweet but the people on the inside don't realize it as much because they're falling in love it's kind of it's like watching people in love i get from this song very like look at them they're sweet it's just such an innocent purity to this track noel's voice is wonderfully earnest here very poignant and you can imagine this being used kind of in a sweet little tv show maybe like afterlife you know or derek you can see it being played over like a, a sweet little scene where the characters are connecting and you can almost hear this being played as a tv show theme like it's just a sweet little tv show it really does have that kind of vibe where i see people doing stuff to the music people uh, connecting through the music people having sweet little interactions and dates and things like that obviously we know noel and liam gallagher as these tough guy hard men rockers from the 90s but they have made such charming music since then they have completely got rid of their tough guy image they've ruined themselves you know because they're constantly writing these sweet natured songs about love but they just show that they have another dimension to them you know the noel gallagher's and liam gallagher oasis brothers was kind of just an act for the time for the music they're very human uh, songwriters they really are and oasis was human but it was rock star edge this is kind of just they've bared their soul in recent years so it's kind of good that oasis did end because maybe we wouldn't have seen this but part of me still wants to see them come together with their newfound kind of emotional maturity, possibly to do something again. So there you have it. I am through with the Noel Gallagher discography, the Liam Gallagher discography, the Oasis discography. It's all on my channel. Go back now and watch it. It took me way longer than I expected to do because I took a long break from this channel in between. So I would have finished it ages ago, but it's all done now. But the only, what I'm gonna do is two more videos. I'm gonna do ranking the Noel Gallagher studio albums uh but worst to best and then the liam gallagher the two ones which i think is uh the worst one and the best one so i've still got two more ranking videos but then after that I'm, i could do anything you know i could talk about david bowie i could talk about the rolling stones i could talk about you know rock bands i grew up with feeder big my head too i really want you guys to comment and let me know what you would like to hear me talk about in the future of this channel because i'm kind of just throwing ideas out there would you want to see me tackle more new releases recent releases nostalgic releases let me know name some bands and let's obsess over music together but thanks for watching everyone i'll see you guys in the next video and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe see you then